So in this video, I'm going to talk about how I installed this uh, Standard Horizon GX2000 VHF radio and it's a company in uh, handheld mic, that's a remote mic that's in the, the cockpit and also how I configured it to open plotter so that I have uh, sound going into open plotter and then into uh, the stereo system as well as how I configured the AIS signals so that it gets AIS and the uh, NEMA 0183 connections and how they're configured. If you watch my earlier video on open plotter, I went through the wiring di diagram as it is already on my boat with regard to the Raspberry Pi. I actually made some changes recently to this area here to include the VHF that I'm going to be talking about and also to include an AIS transponder. Um, so I'll talk about that in more detail now. So uh, this is the existing USB hub uh, that's connected to the Raspberry Pi, but because I added this uh, waterproof uh, touchscreen at the helm, I had to ha add a second uh, USB hub in the cockpit. I did that by running a USB cable over Cat6 with a couple of adapters. And then basically also in the helm, I added this AIS transponder, which has a NEMA output, which I can then connect to the standard horizon. Also at the same time, I've connected the RS422 that I have connected to the Raspberry Pi. That basically sends out all the information that the Raspberry Pi has, all the data, uh, GPS, things like that, to a chart plot, which I don't currently have connected. I keep it as a backup in case the Raspberry Pi fails. I can always connect this back up. It also sends data to the autopilot, to the standard horizon. Then the standard horizon sends data also to the Raspberry Pi. So I just took the, the GX2000 out of its box, it's still in its wrapper, uh, and I'm going to add a headphone cable or a sound cable so that I can plumb it into my stereo and be able to hear it all over the boat. I don't know if that's going to work, but I hope so. So I believe, and I'm going to check now, but I believe the white one here is the speaker out. So I'm going to take the I'm going to take the white and shield wire here, and I'm going to attach it to this cable. So here's the shield right here, and uh, there's two other lines here: the red and the white, and those are um, the right and the left and the stereo one. But we're just going to use we're actually going to tie them together. So I'm going to strip these without hopefully without damaging the, the wire inside. So I'm going to be very, very careful here. I'm going to take a piece of heat shrink and measure it up and see what size heat shrink. This is the smallest I've got in here. So this is the smallest. I can put a piece on that's about that big. Put that over. Yeah, like so, and then when I tie these together with this one, I can uh, I can then heat shrink the whole thing in place. Now, question at this point was: Do you solder? Do you solder these together, or um, or should I just thread them together um, and then heat shrink them in place? That's what I'm going to do for now. I might have to redo this, but put the comments, see what. Uh, so we all think. Remember, it's not a high voltage thing, it's a speaker cable.
So I just fitted this VHF and uh, as you can see, it's got AIS and stuff. You probably can't see it from there actually, but that's not what I want to demonstrate. What I want to demonstrate is that I took the external speaker from the VHF that's wired on the back and I uh, connected it into the Raspberry Pi system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, it's connected up right now and if anyone was transmitting, we, we would be able to hear it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a tune like I would be normally. I'm going to play you a tune that you may have heard before, like my entrance tune. Uh, and then um, from there, I'm going to switch the radio onto weather mode, which will uh, basically play something over the VHF. So here we, here we go. So it might be a bit noisy. I'm not sure about the microphone situation. All right, so you can hear that music playing over and it's playing here and it's playing in the cockpit um, and then I'm going to switch this into weather mode the temperature was 29 head south and light snow and fog were reported 10 to 34 that's not good in Chicago it was mostly sunny 10 to 37 so at St. Louis it was mostly sunny obviously be able to and 43 and you can set these levels and it was mostly yeah. sunny and 34 in this area, the Twin Cities, area, you can it was sunny, the volume of the and 38. As well as the, Once uh, again, well as at Milwaukee, speakers. it was 38, under partly yeah. sunny skies. And then it's back to normal mode. And we'll turn off. So we're, we're outside now. We're at, uh, this is the view from the boat on a calm day. It's, the weather's been a little weird. It's supposed to be rainy and really windy today, but it's actually not. Anyway, so here's the handset. Uh, as you can see, got AIS targets in here uh, channel 16 if, if, I, if I change this to uh, weather mode you'll hear it out here in the, in the morning chance of showers and slight chance of thunderstorms waves five to eight feet it's getting it's gonna get squirrely over the weekend um, anyway 
Uh, so this is the Ram 3 Plus. It's the 3 Plus that goes with the uh, GX uh, 2000. Don't let it confuse you, because it did me. It did me. I bought the wrong one, but I bought it off a friend of mine who had one that he was upgrading. So I got it from relatively cheap. But you can see the the speed over ground and the course and the position shown here, which comes from the Raspberry Pi, comes from Open Plotter, and then the uh, the AIS stuff comes from the AIS directly. Um, so, all right.